Welcome back to another Patreon sponsored episode of Camping in the Wild. Here, on Black Goldville, me master gamer is going to carry the lot of his pack while doing it in a T14 Armata. Oops, it's just a mod skin DIA 6. With Cap A secured, the tank destroyer cubs in his pack set up camp in the caves. He fancies a spot at the enemy spawn, looking for TDs that normally set up camp there, enjoying biscuits and tea. Seeing nothing, two aggressive cubs push the flank. Sadly, two of his lesser cub siblings are hesitantly leaving the spawn. A wild tiger too appears. He bounces his shot off the armata's hull. He pushes forward for more spots while the rest of his team hangs back. It's obviously time for a spot of tea. The counter flank by the enemy cubs has begun. His siblings are rooted in place. Horrified. You lot must really enjoy that cap circle, he says. As he returns fire, he holds the center of the map for spots. His cub siblings get the hint and fan out to hold the enemy's push. Although he now has assistance, most of his team are again rooted in terror, not having moved more than maybe a 100 meters. This isn't a defensive stance, mind you. This is pure camping, with tents, a fire, coffee and timbits. He pays his inept clown pack of siblings no mind, as he farms damage off the T-44, who refuses to leave the sanctuary of his 10 square meter safe space. The enemy team, realizing the campiness of it all, dispatches their RU-251 to enter the melee. He fails. And still, there's nothing but marginal sniping support from the Green Cubs. They have still not moved from their spawn. This comes as no surprise, however. Realizing if one must do something right, one must have to do it themselves, he pushes into the sea cap. Not enthusiastic about the situation, his team remains firmly in place, with only the T-54 lightweight covering the southeast flank. Sadly, he's done in while outnumbered. The camp in T-44 finally goes down. He too refused to move from his spot and is subsequently sent packing to the garage. He praises his team for the patrol duty and scout medal he farmed while in a Soviet heavy tank. While it seems impossible, it would not have worked if it wasn't for the camping donkeys on green. Again, 
Thanks for watching this 10th installment of the Camping in the Wild series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Many thanks to the patrons that make this series possible. Here's some more videos you like. Until next time, stay safe in the wild.